Hey guys, welcome back. So I actually had an awesome intro for you guys, but lipstick got on my teeth and I was like shutting this show down, okay? We're gonna go ahead and jump right into today's look. So first thing guys is I'm gonna go ahead and set the lids off my eyes with an off-white eyeshadow. This is Wet n Wild Creme Brulee. Then I'm moving on, okay? Moving on over and going into Makeup Geek. Cocoa Bear, and I'm gonna go ahead and apply this in the crease area of my eyes with a big fluffy brush. Now, you wanna go ahead and apply this eyeshadow straight forward, or for example, looking straight forward into a mirror. Crown brushes, smoke it out, eyeshadow palette. These eyeshadows are highly pigmented, and crown brushes has amazing affordable products, okay? Especially for different skin tones, which I'm like, yes, check. Please. First eyeshadow I'm using from this palette today is this fuchsia pink eyeshadow. Now you want to go ahead and apply this eyeshadow right into that eye socket slash crease area. You're pretty much applying this eyeshadow right on top of Makeup Geek's Cocoa Bear. Then I'm going into a light frosty pink in this eyeshadow palette. I'm going to go ahead and pack this on onto the lid area of the eyes. And you guys totally see that I go ahead and start taking my time when I'm packing on any eyeshadow on the lid area of my eyes. You gradually want to go ahead and pack it on. You don't want to have too much and then you can't take it away. So slowly but surely build it on up. Then going back into that same crown brush palette, I'm going to go ahead and use this medium pink shade. And you just want to go ahead and apply this at the outer corner of the eyes. And I'm just going to go ahead and use this Real Techniques really nice fluffy brush. It's like a small packed fluffy brush so it gets really perfectly into specific areas that you want to go ahead and apply any eyeshadow or any makeup looks in general. Does that make sense? You, but you know what I mean. Yeah, you do. All right, y'all, let's move on to the face. So we're gonna go ahead and actually color correct the skin. I haven't color corrected in forever, so today is the day. I'm using the LA Girl Pro Conceal in orange. I love this. I actually saw Miss Jackie using this, or Jackie Ayanna. I hope I'm saying your name right, girl. I love you. And it looked amazing on her side to pick it up, so I'm just using this to color correct my skin. I personally have a lot of hyperpigmentation slash dark spots, so I want to definitely go ahead and make sure my skin is just one tone. Then for my concealer today, I'm going to go ahead and use this LA Girl Pro Conceal, but I'm actually using it in Warm Honey. This concealer shade is a couple shades lighter than me. The reason why I'm using this lighter concealer is because I want to go ahead and highlight under my eyes. For my foundation today, I'm using Maybelline's Better Skin Foundation. This foundation looks amazing on camera. You know I did a whole review video on it. I like it more on camera than I do like it in person. I also have to say that some of you guys asked me why is my hands darker than my actual face. That is a part of life, okay? I come in different kind of shades all over my body. I'm not trying to match my foundation shade to my hands, but I am trying to match it to my jawline slash neck. Then I went ahead and applied some false lashes. These are Cara Lashes in 605. Then I quickly went ahead and went through my brows. My brow routine is actually coming this weekend or sometime in this week coming up. So I know you guys have been requesting that a lot. And my brow game, let's be real, has been very, very strong. So I'm just like, thank you, Jesus. About time you fixed it, okay? Mm -hmm. Next is I'm going to go ahead and move on to actually I went back in with a fluffy brush just to help blend out any harsh edges on the eyeshadow look. Cocoa Bear from Makeup Geek just to apply it under the lower lash line of my eyes. For my mascara today, I went ahead and used my number 7 mascara. It is definitely very hard for me to personally apply mascara on camera. It's like a skill that I have not mastered yet. It's unbelievable hard. I then went back into the Crown Brushes palette, eyeshadow palette. I went ahead and used this fuchsia color just to apply under the eyes. And I used this Real Techniques really nice angle brush. And I really apply this under the eyes just to make sure the eyes look really pop. Then for my blush today, I'm using this blush right here that is from Black Radiance. This blush is in Toasted Almond, one of my faves. And then for my highlight, Caramel from Black Radiance. Very similar to Ginger Snap, but if I had to choose between Toasted Caramel or Ginger Snap, 
I definitely would choose Ginger Snap all the way. Then lastly, to top off this look, I went ahead and used a more baritone lipstick. And this is Kate Moss Lipstick in 30. A beautiful, like, warm berry shade. Beautiful and stunning for fall. Alright guys, so this is the final look today. Don't forget to go ahead and thumbs up this video if you guys enjoy it. And subscribe for more videos every week. I'll see you guys on Saturday, okay? See you guys soon. Adios.